I went on a date recently with someone and I had difficulty feeling attracted to him, even though he was very good looking and he was so interesting and very good communicator. And after our first date, I thought this is such a great prospect. But on our second date, I have to figure out if I can feel attracted to him. He took me out to a nice restaurant and afterward when he wanted, asked if he could kiss me, which by the way, is not a turnoff. I didn't feel like it. And I was puzzling over why. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that he, I noticed that there was some people pleasing and disowning of his sexuality that he admitted that he is like a people pleaser and that um, he doesn't want to objectify women. So um, it wasn't that he had to talk about sexual things, but I just didn't feel, I didn't feel, it's like very subconscious, you know, um, that he was looking for approval just slightly, like smiling too much or smiling at the waitress. And like, if I can't feel your boundaries, how can I feel safe with you if you're the whole thing was very puzzling to me why I couldn't feel attracted to this really great looking guy. Interesting. So it, in a nutshell, it, is it safe to say not to put words in your mouth that he was acting in a very not masculine way? In, in some slight way. Yeah. He wasn't super bad because if they're like people pleasers, I feel immediately too repulsed. It was very subtle. Yeah. Yes. He wasn't ask, acting enough in a masculine way. Yes. Do you believe that he is uh, illustrative of a larger problem where men like him have, have been told you need to swing the pendulum way over this way to a people pleaser, dare we say, feminine kind of energy? And therefore, and, and he's going to get what you've experienced and he's going to have subsequent dates and he's going to probably experience what he experienced with you through the majority of them. He's going to be a, in this long army, of this growing army of men who say, um, women all say they want fill in the blank, but as soon as I give it to them, nobody wants me. This is just, it's baffling to men. And I think you would agree. They got a point, don't they? Where mm -hmm. society, society says you need to be a little nicer, you know, mm -hmm. softer, more empathetic. You need to, you know, uh, tone down Mr. Stoic masculine guy. Um, and even some even go as far as to say, the, the more you crank up the masculinity, which, by the way, is a very vague term, could mean a bazillion different things. Um, the more you crank up the masculinity, it actually, it's frightening. And it's it's very off-putting. And we don't feel, quote, safe around you. So you need to chill out, mister, and go the other direction with this. And I think your buddy, oh, your buddy, <laughs> that's probably a good term. <laughs> your, uh, your ex date there was the perfect illustration of somebody who took that to heart and said, you got it, society, watch this. And he's going to get nothing out of it in the dating world.